Hi everyone. I was going to read a story today, but I have the hiccups. Maybe you guys can help me get rid of them because I cannot stop. So this story is called Hiccup and it is by Jacqueline Azuli. Peter the Piglet was sad. Everyone seemed to have forgotten it was his birthday today. No cards, no presents, just hiccup. the hiccups, just like me. Mommy Pig and Daddy Pig were very busy. When Peter the Piglet asked if he could help, all that came out was hiccup. Oink, you go off and play, Daddy Pig told Peter Piglet. But Peter Piglet was too sad to play. Hiccup! So he went to visit Cow instead. When Cow heard Peter the Piglet's hiccups, she said, Goodness, moo! Cow told Peter the Piglet that the only cure for hiccups was to drink a glass of her milk while standing on his head. But it didn't help. Hiccup! Poor Peter the Piglet. Now he had the hiccups, no happy birthday, and milk all over him. Hiccup! Thank you for trying to help, Cal, he said. So he's got the hiccups and nothing's helping. And people forgot his birthday. Hiccup. Over at the hen house, the naughty, pecky, gossipy hens laughed. Bok, 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 when they heard Peter the Piglet's hiccups. Hiccup. Everyone knows what you cockadoodle do to cure the hiccups, said Rooster, with a gleam in his eye. You must juggle some eggs. I think Piglet's going to be very good at juggling those eggs. I don't think so either. Hiccup! Peter the Piglet wasn't so sure, but he didn't want to be rude. He started to juggle the eggs. Splat! 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 Hiccup! Peter the Piglet now had the hiccups, no happy birthday, milk all down his face, and egg on his head too. Peter the Piglet didn't feel like saying anything to those mean old hens, but he remembered his manners. Hiccup! Thank you for trying to help, he said. Peter the Piglet sat down feeling very sad and alone. Mommy Pig, Daddy Pig, he cried. I feel like a pancake. Hiccup. He looked all around, but he couldn't see Mommy Pig or Daddy Pig anywhere. Do you see what Mommy and Daddy Pig have behind the bush? Maybe they've got a surprise for him. Horse whinnied to Peter and the piglet from the field. Oh, I read that wrong. Let me try again. Horse whinnied to Peter the piglet from the field. Peter the piglet trotted over. Hiccup! Don't worry, said Horse. The best cure for hiccups is a good old jiggity jog. Climb up onto my back. Peter the Piglet sat on Horse's back and they jigged and jogged and bumped and bounced all around the field. It was wonderful fun until... Uh-oh, what do you think is going to happen? Horse saw Mole poke his head up and stopped in surprise. Poor Peter the Piglet was catapulted through the air. Whee! Hiccup! Hiccup! Uh-oh. So he got thrown off the horse, didn't he? Thank you for trying to help, Horse, Peter the Piglet said. But now I have hiccups, no happy birthday, milk all down my face, egg on my head, and straw stuck everywhere. Hiccup! So he is not having a very good day, is he? But he's feeling pretty sad. Duck quacked at Peter the piglet from the pond, where she was teaching her ducklings to swim. Oh, Peter, she said, I heard your hiccups from over here. You frightened my ducklings. Quack. Sorry, duck. Hiccup said Peter the Piglet. Don't you know that the surest cure for hiccups is a splash of cold water, Duck said. With that, Duck and all of her ducklings started splishing and splashing Peter the Piglet. So now he's covered in water too, isn't he? And look what's going by that he doesn't see. Maybe another surprise? Let's find out. When they had stopped splashing, Peter the Piglet stood and waited. Duck and her ducklings waited. Oh, Peter the piglet said, at last with a smile. 
I'm clean again. Thank you, duck. Thank you, ducklings. My hiccups have... Hiccup! Still not gone. Peter the piglet was clean, but he still had no happy birthday, and he still had the hiccups. Then Peter the piglet saw Mommy Pig and Daddy Pig waving to him from the barn, so he headed over there as fast as he could. So at least he's clean, but still no one has wished him happy birthday, and he still has the hiccups. Happy birthday, Peter! Mommy Pig and Daddy Pig and all of Peter the Piglet's friends were in the barn with the biggest birthday party he had ever seen. And Peter the Piglet found out what the nicest possible cure for hiccups is. A surprise! So they surprised him with a party and it made his hiccups go away. <laughs> so that was a cute little story. Now I want to do a little activity where... We're going to make a pig. So I have toilet paper roll, and I took pink paper, but you can color it with markers or with crayons or whatever, and I just wrapped it around my toilet paper roll. So I have this. And then I took my pink paper, and I cut out some triangles. And those are going to be my ears. So I'm going to take my ears, and I'm going to take some tape. But you can take glue, or if you want to staple them, that would be okay, too. And I'm gonna put them on. I'm gonna put them on the outside of my little toilet paper roll. And I'm gonna tape them down. And I'm gonna take the other one and get some more tape. And I'm gonna tape it down here. And they're a little silly looking, but it'll look better. So then I'm going to take my marker. And up here on the front, I'm going to draw my eyes. And you can use different colors. I'm just going to use black. I'm going to color in around my eyes. Or if you have those little stick-on googly eyes, or if you have different colored pieces of paper or different markers you could color them with that so I have my eyes I'm gonna draw around like this to do my nose oopsies and mine's a little crooked but that's okay and then I'm gonna do a smiley face on mine So we have our little piggy. That's my nose, and then the two nose holes, just like this one. I've got my eyes, and then I've got my mouth. And now I gotta add my little tail. So I took a piece of paper, and I cut it pretty thin. So I'm gonna cut the edge like this. It doesn't have to be very long. And we're gonna make a tail. So I took it, and I took a pencil, and I just wrapped it around the pencil. And I'm gonna hold it for a little bit, so that'll help it take its shape and be curly. And then mine didn't do very well, so I just kind of twisted it with my fingers and folded it just a little bit so that it would take its shape. Now it's kind of a curly cue. So I'm going to take my tape, and back here on the back, I'm going to put my tail down, just the end, and I'm going to tape just the end of it. So then that way, I've got my little tail. So now I have a little pig. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you liked the story, and I hope you have fun with the craft. Bye!